Thor.com, and today we're looking at Thor by Reason 4. We looked before at the oscillators and filters that you can apply. Now I'm going to look at the LFO, mod envelope, filter envelope, and amp envelope, and how to use those in the context of Thor. Now if you'll notice, all the oscillator routing uh, to the filters, it's all laid out. You have your mixer, your shaper, uh, filters here, and it all ends up going to the amp. Well, if you notice all as well, the filter envelope, amp envelope, and LFO and mod envelope are kind of independent of your actual oscillators over here. So they control the overall way that these are played. Check it out. All right. So I can increase the release on the amp envelope. Pull the sustain and decay down. and increase attack. I can play with the filter envelope. This usually works better when your filter is uh, tweaked a little bit more. So that's a little bit about of what you can do with that. However, let's look at the LFO as well. Obviously, LFO, we've seen these a million times on since before. Let's see how it works in this context. You can experiment with that a little bit, but it, for the most part, um, not the best LFO I've ever seen, but we can change up the waveforms and see what the difference is. Now, if you'll notice, there's also the global envelope down here, but there's also an LFO2 that you can apply. So let's see what happens when we apply that. And now you'll notice there's also a uh, control window down here on the Thor that has all the information for all your different filters. So like for LFO2, for example, it shows uh, amount is set at 75, and I can increase that amount also on LFO1. Now when I decrease the delay, you hear it come back in. So let's see what happens now that I've decreased the delay and increased the amount. Change up the waveforms. Add tempo sync or key sync. And so far, that works all right, uh, but let's look down here and see what other controls there are that we can use. Uh, LFO1 obviously appearing here, so we're a little bit limited in what we can do with the LFOs. We also have the mod envelope, which affects, again, the way that this is modded. Modulation envelope, turn off the gate trigger, turn it on, tempo sync. You can loop this as well. Again, not necessarily as effective as one might hope or like from this type of application. But again, you can create these type of effects other ways. There are other ways to do it. So let's look at what other things we can control using the Thor.